Stacy here with Leaping Wizards Reptile Experience, and have you ever wondered why you don't see some animals out in the daytime? Like, you know they're out there, they're out there somewhere, but you never see them out in the sun. Like maybe bats, foxes, scorpions, barn owls, things like that. So let's talk a little bit about where they are during the day and why they're not out. So animals are sorted into three main categories based on the time of day that they are active. So animals can be nocturnal, diurnal, or crepuscular. So what's the difference between these three? So what makes an animal nocturnal, diurnal, or crepuscular? What makes them that way is the time of day that they are most active. So by active, I mean the time when they're searching for food, they're most awake, they're looking for mates, and they're just up and about. Now, I enjoy being up late at night. And I love eating at night, like having a snack, because I love ice cream. Ah, oh, ice cream. Anyway, now, I am diurnal though, because when I am most awake is during the day. Like most humans, we stay up mostly during the day. Our body just tells us, hey, the sun is down, it's time to sleep, and then when we wake up, we get to enjoy the sunshine. So diurnal means most active during the day, and that includes most mammals, like humans, elephants, dogs, and then also most reptiles and birds. So nocturnal means most active at night, and those include animals like owls, raccoons, moths, foxes, and wolves. And crepuscular animals means that they're most active at dawn and dusk. So that basically means that when you're waking up in the morning, they're most active, and when you're going to sleep at night, getting ready for bed, taking your bath, getting ready to go to sleep, that's when they're most active. So they're most active when the sun's coming up and when the sun's going down. And those animals are things like deer um, and house cats. So if you notice your cat at home in the morning, they get the zoomies and they're really excited, and then they sleep most of the day. And then they're up again at night. So crepuscular animals have big bursts of energy during the day, but they nap a lot. So why are some animals nocturnal versus diurnal? So one of the main reasons that animals have evolved to be nocturnal is to avoid the heat of the day. So they don't want to be out during the heat of the day. They don't want to overheat while they're looking for food or mates. So they are awake at night. Another reason some animals have adapted to be nocturnal is to avoid competition during the day. If everyone was awake hunting for food and looking for water and mates at the same time, it would be hard for everybody, especially the smallest species, to find what they need to survive. And some animals are nocturnal to avoid daytime predators. So things like cockroaches and scorpions are most active at night because if they were active during the day, every bird in the sky would pick them off pretty quickly. So what are some characteristics of nocturnal animals? Most nocturnal animals either have really good hearing, really good sight, or really good sense of smell. Bats have echolocation, which is where they use sound waves to navigate and find food in the dark. We'll have to do a video on bats soon because they are so cool. Eyes of nocturnal creatures have more rods or cells in the retina that help them see in low light and at night. They have great hearing and an amazing sense of smell. And they also use camouflage and are a darker color in order to hide better at night. Owls have amazing hearing and unique feather design that allows them to be noiseless in their flight, which helps them sneak up on prey. Now let's talk a little bit about those diurnal or daytime creatures. Now why be diurnal? So just like some nocturnal animals are awake at night to find food and water easily, some animals are awake during the day to find food and water and resources more easily. If everybody was awake at the same time, fighting for the same food and resources, things would be a lot harder for everyone. Diurnal animals are not adapted to see well at night. So things like lizards are usually awake during the day so that they can stay away from predators that are out during the evening time, like owls and foxes. They can see very, very well at night. The eyes of a diurnal creature have less rods and more cones. Now the cones are light sensing cells in the retina that are responsible for color vision and fine details. Diurnal animals also use camouflage to hide, but instead of being dark colors to hide at night, 
they usually are the colors of, the, of their surroundings. So a sidewinder snake, for example, would be a sandy color to kind of blend into the sand of the deserts in which they live. There are insects that look like leaves, lizards that blend into tree trunks, and all kinds of amazing diurnal animals that you wouldn't even notice if they weren't moving. They can also have special movements that allow them to get away from larger daytime predators. Lizards, for example, and squirrels have quick, darty movements that help them escape the larger predators of the daytime. Now, the third group of animals is called crepuscular, and the crepuscular animals are most active at dawn and dusk. These include things like leopard geckos and deer, where they are active in the morning, and then they nap a lot during the day with quick bursts of energy here and there, and then they are active again at dusk. This group of animals also has special eyes that are adapted to see better in the morning and at night. When there is limited light, their lens or pupil expands. When there's a lot of light, it is like, kind of like a slit, so their eyes can adjust a little depending on how much light they have available. So these categories aren't always cut and dry. An animal may not just be nocturnal all the time or crepuscular all the time. An animal that lives in a mild climate may be crepuscular and come out at dawn and dusk. However, if that same animal lives in a hotter climate, it might be totally nocturnal because it's too hot for them to come out during the day or even at dawn and dusk. Animals all over the world have changed and evolved so that they can survive in their environment and what amazing animals they are. Nocturnal animals stay awake all night. They have amazing sense of hearing, smell and sight. They like it dark outside to avoid the heat of the day when fewer animals are awake and in their way. What types of animals are nocturnal? Raccoons, skunks, possum, coyotes, owls, and foxes. Diurnal animals are awake when the sun is out. Can't see well in the dark. In the day they walk about. They like it bright outside. Don't mind the heat of the day. When nocturnal predators are sleeping the day away, what types of animals are diurnal? Butterflies, squirrels, and honeybees, elephants and humans like you and me. And some are called crepuscular which is an awful funny word. They're most active at dawn and dusk, but napping a lot is a definite must. What types of animals are crepuscular? House cats, deer, some types of bats, hamsters, rabbits, and bobcats. Thank you so much for watching this video and make sure to subscribe and like and do all of the good stuff to our channel. And stay tuned because we have a fall contest going on right now. We will announce that contest on our Halloween Scarecrow video because we will have a scene at the Red Hills Desert Garden Halloween Scarecrow Walk. We're so excited.